A warm welcome to all TVET lecturers. I'm Amanda Skinner from Macmillan, and today I will explain all the recent updates to the Industrial Electronics N5 curriculum. The previous curriculum dates back to 1989. It has been revised to make sure the curriculum aligns with industry needs. The implementation date is September 2024. You need the latest textbooks to ensure you are covering the correct content in class. I will show you later how our TVET First Students Book, Lecturer's Guide and Workbook will help you teach the revised curriculum easily and confidently. The books are approved by the DHET, so you can be sure that they cover the curriculum in full. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2024, tells you that these are the correct books. But first, let's understand the new curriculum. Let's start with what has been removed from the old curriculum. In the new Module 3, comparators have been left out, as have the types of distortion, band pass or stop filters, and the 741 operational amplifiers are not mentioned. In the new Module 4, the 741 operational amplifiers, 555 integrated circuits, and dual inline, flat, and metal casing packages are not mentioned. Also, in the first category of transducers, namely resistive transducers, the linear variable resistor is not specified in the new curriculum. And calculations of the resistance of thermistors and bridge resistors, as well as amplifier gain, is no longer required. In Module 6, the syllabus no longer specifies the ramp staircase, dual ramp, voltage to frequency, and successive approximation type voltmeters, but simply states different voltmeters. In Module 7, unijunction transistor oscillators and the output waveforms of oscillators are no longer part of the curriculum. What is completely new in the revised curriculum? As the curriculum has been completely reworked, there is quite a lot that is new. However, in most cases, what's new is that an existing learning outcome has been fleshed out in much more detail. In Module 1, the first two learning outcomes in the old curriculum have been reworked and expanded to 39 learning outcomes in the new curriculum. Capacitive coupling with its four outcomes is a new addition, as well as the concepts of high or low selectivity and lower power frequencies. The new Module 2 on power supplies is huge, as the three original learning outcomes have been expanded to 70 outcomes, and several aspects have been specified more closely. The new Module 3 includes both transistor amplifiers and operational amplifiers from the former sections 10.3 and 10.4. The original nine learning outcomes have been expanded into 50 outcomes, and various extra calculations are now required. New concepts include, among others, input or output offset voltage and input bias current. There are several changes in Module 4 on integrated circuits and transducers. For instance, six new learning outcomes introduce transducers in general and require explanations, lists, and a classification diagram. There are five new outcomes on electrostatic discharge and eight outcomes on the resistance of strain gauges. This module has a total of 42 learning outcomes. The old syllabus includes DIACs and quadracs, whereas Module 5 in the new syllabus only deals with SCRs and TRIACs. For TRIACs, students now only need to compare them with SCRs and know how to switch them off. The applications of closed-loop phase control systems are also required. The new Module 6 on measuring instruments replaces the old Module 10.8 on test equipment. The original learning outcome has been expanded into nine outcomes. The former Module 9 on oscillators is now Module 7 and has been expanded from four learning outcomes to 13 outcomes. The calculation of oscillation frequency and factors that affect it are new. Finally, Module 8 on liquid crystal display has five learning outcomes and is new to the N5 curriculum. It builds on the new section in the N4 curriculum. What is the weighting of the eight modules? The old curriculum gave no indication of weighting. However, the module names are the same for the most part, 
and the weighting is rather evenly spread across the modules. Have the marks or the format of the exams changed? The final exam is still a closed book three hour paper counting 100 marks, with a formula sheet attached to the paper. Students are allowed scientific calculators, but they are not allowed to bring programmable calculators, reference works, previous examination papers or memorandums. How do TVET First textbooks help me teach the new curriculum to my students? We know that you already have loads of responsibilities and the new curriculum is quite demanding. Our TVET First textbooks will help you with everything you need. The high quality students book is packed with features that take students through the complete curriculum and prepare them for examination success. Concepts are defined and explained in understandable language. Diagrams have been clearly labelled so that the students can identify the components and specifications of different electrical circuits and waveforms. Worked examples break down problems so that they can be solved easily. Calculations show all steps so that the students can follow the reasoning and maths. Detailed tables compare advantages and disadvantages formulas, differences and relationships between different components and systems. Activities are tailored to TVET students to ensure that they are prepared for assignments, tests and final examinations. Summaries at the end of every module make revision easier. Summative assessments test students' exam readiness. The accompanying workbook helps students to complete all activities and to keep answers to activities and summative assessments together and neatly organized. The workbook provides a useful revision aid to prepare for the final exam. What are the features of the lecturer's guide? The lecturer's guide contains comprehensive answers to all the activities in the student's book. There is also a curriculum overview, a photocopyable teaching plan and a lesson plan template as well as helpful links to relevant videos and online materials. The Realistic Practice Exam and Full Marking Guide are an essential bonus. We wish you a successful teaching year. For the best results, rely on TVET first.